Mark Rogers TV continuing our spring football series at UCLA. This football program probably intrigues me like no other in college football. They've got the location, they've got the tradition, they've got the recruiting base, and I think they finally got the head coach to see it through. Jim Mora, very impressive in his first season. Team went 9-5. and five. They were 9-2 and two through 11 games. Then they played Stanford down to the wire in the Pac-12 championship game to the final play against a top-five football team. Then they got blasted. Yes, they got blasted in the Holiday Bowl by the Baylor Bears. So Jim Mora, I believe, is going to show some resolve in getting his football team ready and using that as motivation in 2013. He has completely changed the vibe, the attitude, and the work ethic, and the toughness of a very soft football program. Totally different the way UCLA approached the 2012 campaign, and I expect that to become even more of an impact that he's having on this program in 2013 and beyond. Okay, it starts at quarterback on the field with Brett Hundley. The freshman was very impressive, 3,700 yards passing, 29 touchdowns, 11 picks, and he's not resting on that success from his freshman season. He comes into spring practice at 230 pounds of muscle, 8% body fat for Brett Hundley. So he's taking his job very seriously there at UCLA. The offensive line returns four starters. They gave up too many sacks last season. A lot of that had to do with the freshman holding on to the football, but the offensive line did not perform well in pass blocking. Expect that to improve. Another season, another spring, another fall of practice together. Of course, the offensive line has to be cohesive like no other unit on the field. Expect improvement there on the offensive line for UCLA. Okay, at running back, of course, we know Jonathan Franklin. The heart and soul of this offense is gone. The number one running back in UCLA history in regards to yardage gained, gone to the Green Bay Packers, is going to be replaced probably by a committee. Got Jordan James Jr. Ran for 215 and three touchdowns. A couple touchdowns in the spring showcase, the UCLA spring game. Senior Malcolm Jones, not an elite runner, or he would have carried more than three times as a junior, but he supplies depth and ran for three times uh, in 14 yards in the spring game. You've got uh, redshirt sophomore Stephen Manfro, ailing from a shoulder problem, held out much of the spring, is a threat from the backfield. The best running back in terms of catching passes out of the backfield for UCLA, caught 28 last season. You also have redshirt senior Damian Thigpen. He's hobbled with a knee problem, but he's the leading returning rusher at 262 and four touchdowns total on 18 receptions. You also have redshirt freshman Paul Perkins, who had a nice 25-yard run in the spring game. Now we move it on to wide receiver, where UCLA really showed that it needs to improve specifically in seeing the matchup against the Baylor defensive backs in the Holiday Bowl. But certainly not an issue with the number one guy, Shaq Evans. Caught 60 for three touchdowns. He's not elite top-end receiver. But uh, he's certainly a fine number one guy who needs some productivity behind him. UCLA's looking to two guys to provide that. Number one would be Devin Lucian. Ten catches, 188 last season. The most talented, explosive wide receiver on the UCLA roster. Also, a project in Devin Fuller, the sophomore. Offensive coordinator Noel Mazzoni is going to have all sorts of fun, hopefully, with Devin Fuller because he's a Percy Harvin type. Line him up in the slot, give him some space, give him some bubble screens, get the football in his hands in space, let him make moves on DBs, and get into the open field. He caught 21 last season for two touchdowns, and again, Noel Mazzoni's probably practicing all winter, all spring, devising schemes to get the football into the hands of Devin Fuller. Okay, on defense for UCLA, the Bruins were much improved, but still exposed against Baylor, especially in the passing game. They lose their entire secondary, but we don't know that this is necessarily a problem because, again, against big-time competition, UCLA got burned last season, and the replacements are ultra-talented. Now, are they going to perform out of the gate in 2013? Maybe not. But listen to this lineup of recruits for UCLA in a passing conference. You've got some of the best DBs in the country coming in for Jim Mora. Priest Willis, the fourth rated safety, 59th overall player in the country, 
according to ESPNU. Also, Johnny Johnson, the 20th rated cornerback. Tyler Foreman, 32nd ranked safety. And we also have Tahan Goodman, the 9th rated safety, who came in with Priest Willis as kind of a deal between the two of those guys. And Jalen Ortiz, the number 31 cornerback. Also a guy that didn't play much last season because of injuries, uh, the redshirt freshman Ishmael Adams. He earned a starting nickel job last season but got hurt. So he comes back. He's been very impressive, and he's definitely a Jim Mora kind of player. He's feisty. He's got an attitude. He's tough. He's not what you would consider your typical or stereotypical UCLA kind of player. But Jim Mora is changing the culture, and Ishmael Adams is the type of guy that he wants on the field. Only 5'8", but he plays really tough. He's physical at cornerback, and he, again, gained a nickel spot at the beginning of last season, then hurt himself and uh, was uh, out. So he's a redshirt freshman coming back. Also, we want to note uh, two players on defense. Defensive tackle Ellis McCarthy coming in 20 pounds lighter. Coaches were very impressed with his work ethic and what he achieved in the spring. And also inside linebacker Stan McKay, who had his big spring showcase with four total tackles and one pick. But we can't talk UCLA football, especially on defense, without mentioning Anthony Barr. All Pac-12, all America, and Jim Morris said it. He came out and said it. If we win football games and we win big this season, Anthony Barr is going to be right in the middle of it, and he should be in the Heisman race. Jim Morris said it. Anthony Barr is going to lead this defense. Brett Hundley, the offense. Things looking up for UCLA in the Pac-12. It all starts with a date against Nevada on August 31st, then two weeks later, the rematch of the big win against Nebraska, this time in Lincoln on September 14th. Would love to hear what you have to say about the Bruins in 2013. We think this is a very interesting football team with the talent coming in, one of the 15 top recruiting classes in the country coming in, and of course, Jim Mora, an NFL mind on the sidelines. Talk to us about UCLA football right here on Mark Rogers TV.